What's up everybody? John from Old Crazy Farm Hair Farm. Crazy Hair Farm. Look at that. Whew. John needs to take a shower. Anyway, enough about my personal life. Uh, in today's video, we are preparing for the biggest storm we're going to have all year. Now, here's what we got. So, first of all, check out this nice clear span area down here. Sorry for the dizziness. I feel dizzy. Um, so we are down here in the wood yard part two, and I don't know if we're going to need to come up with a new name for this, or if like, I guess the whole thing will be the wood yard, because we'll cut down some of those trees, create a path. Oh my god, look at this. What is going on up there? Also that hairline. I don't know. It's not good. Anyway, so we're supposed to get like up to nine inches of snow this weekend, which is quite a bit, uh, especially because we've had zero all well, I'd say all winter, but I mean, it's January 6th, I think today. But anyway, um, so I was able to get my dump trailer down here and bring a few loads of wood chips, uh, which is great. But so today I need to do a few things and I'm sort of uh, like, I have too much that I want to do and not enough time, you know? So uh, the guy who left all these pallets here also left a couple of tarps. So I think I'm going to tarp a couple things. One is this area right back here is going to be where my new sawmill is going to live. Now the ground is already pretty hard because uh, it's been really cold recently, but it's supposed to be warming up next week. So I'm thinking I may just take some of the timbers that I milled, which you can see over here. Ba -ba -da -ba. See, these are five by 10 beams that are going to support the sawmill. And then I'm going to have, just going to have them sitting on the ground between you and me, okay? <clears throat> no, but I think I'm going to, I'm going to, they're going to be plenty supported from the ground. But so I was thinking I want to keep those sort of dry and in an area. And actually, I think some of these top cuts I think would be good for chainsaw carvings. Yes. So I'm going to come over here and probably just move these put them over uh, my chainsaw area, and then tarp the whole thing just to keep that ground from getting too soggy, too soaking wet. I also need to re-do something over here with the hay. We had mice eat through our tarps, and then uh, it rained a lot, and our hay got soaked. So at least one bale is ruined. The other two seem fine, so that's good. Um, then I have a couple odds and ends over here. Definitely gotta cover uh, the sawmill cover my tractor at the end of the day. And then I have my tractor implements, which are currently sort of scattered around. Need to cover those. But I also am just going around, you know, there's some things, because tomorrow, even though it's gonna be snowing all day, I am going to be carving. And so what I wanna do, there's also a couple like little things here and there that I wanna pick up. Like I have a two by four over there. I have a couple things that I milled. I also wanna <laughs> finish milling this log my blade got dull before I could finish it. Ah, there's just so much to do. But anyway, um, cleared out the carving shed, and I brought in a bunch of gnome blanks. Catherine currently has, like, 44 gnomes that are carved and ready for paint. So that's what she's doing today. I also have some of these that I think are going to be little bears. But tomorrow I'd like to carve a big bear. So I want to grab one of these big logs and put it in there, so that should be fun. Um, and then, yeah, there's just some odds and ends that I wanna clean up and just make sure that there's nothing in the road. Um, Cause I think, I don't think the snow is gonna last that long. I think it's supposed to rain early in the week, but uh, just wanna make sure that there's nothing hazardous in the way that if I run it over, it's gonna be a problem. And I also have a couple tarps that are down and being stored currently on the ground and sort of hidden under leaves. Like there's one back there. I want to get those up and just, you know, take some time to do some cleaning. Because one of the things that I've been doing, so my schedule is a little crazy. So 7 a.m. to 11 a.m. I have my real job. And then 11 to 4, basically, or I do 11 to 3.30 is chainsaw carving time. So I'm just focused on chainsaw carving. And then I'm taking like the last hour of sunlight that we have to uh, do like John projects. So that's like saw milling, 
um, doing some cleaning up around here. I've been working on this road to get it to be much smoother because eventually I want to have at least chip trucks be able to drive down there. Um, so I'd like the road to be nice. But anyway, I'm actually going to meet with my neighbor, one of my neighbors, to talk about taking down some trees potentially because <sighs> we are moving the flower farm. I don't know if we actually have a video about that because I think the phone didn't record quite well, but I'll check in with you guys in a minute. All right, so this ended up being a little bit too tall for my shed just because I couldn't get the forks in there. And so, I mean, this is a six foot tall bear and we'll see. So I think I'm just gonna leave him set up outside and uh, maybe tomorrow, like I'll see if I can have a little fire going in my stove there and I can have this guy right here. So I have a lot of gnomes in there. Maybe I'll bring my other saw down see if I can cut this guy and stick him in there that might be nice or I'll just work on the stuff that I have over here so next up I'm gonna recover my hay I may also finish clearing this out I had a ton of like little scripts and scraps of logs over here and I've just been sort of slowly working through it. it's nice to have it you know in a more manageable circumstance right now but I have a couple logs up at the top of my house that I think would be good for uh, mushrooms so I may go get those. We'll have to see. Uh, but for now, I pulled a big tarp off of the ground. I'm gonna think, I think I'm gonna cover, oh, you know what I have to cover? My new sawmill, which is still out here. Um, so hopefully next week I can get that all set up. But anyway, um, yeah. I'm gonna go cover my hay, maybe grab a couple more logs, we'll have to see, and then I'll be back. All right, so I got my hay reset, man. It is such a pain in the butt dealing with this hay and it's just like trying to stack it and I only have the pallet forks it'd be nice if I had some bale spears but anyway got it all set up should be fine again pain in the neck pain in the neck I got to figure out a different way of storing my hay next year you know we're talking about now that I have the dump trailer potentially going to pick it up uh, direct from the location and then we would just have a few at a time rather than getting like 20 bales delivered. But anyway, we'll have to see. It's a little chilly. Did some cleaning up. Uh, I think I'm pretty much set. Uh, I may just do some maintenance on my saws and take a nap. I don't know. <laughs> we'll have to see. I don't know. I feel, uh, feel like there's too much to do and then I end up not doing anything at all. So I'll have to figure out something. Maybe I'll mill some wood. I think that was on the list, so... Anyway, now that I got that done, time to do other stuff. All right. Next on my list is actually uh, going to be taking down some of these little saplings. So, again, I'm not sure if we actually got this video out or not. Um, but so we are going to be, we tried to do our flower farm way down there. But it ended up being a muddy, disgusting mess. Nothing grew. It and it really sapped our hopes and dreams. That was a really sad, you know, thing. Because that was the first project we ever really worked on. We would go down there. We worked so hard to cut down all those trees. And I mean, you know, we don't, we don't love cutting down trees. But, you know, what we're looking at here is a bunch of maples and just little saplings and stuff. So, anyway, flower farm didn't work down there. So we're going to be putting raised beds up here. My nose so red anyway so we're gonna be putting raised beds up here 
in order to do that, we got to take down some of these trees. Um, and so we are going to be taking down this big oak. This white oak gets to stay if he's far enough away. But we have a couple other trees like these two. This little cluster is going to come out. This guy's going to come out. So I'm going to get to start working on that here. So I'll probably just work my way back, take out this little cedar and a crab apple tree. And then uh, some of these other guys, I think I actually need to get like some of my wedges and maybe some gas and oil, but just do some light work and then stack the wood to the side. I'll bring my dump trailer up and fill it and dump it that way. That's going to be nice. Anyway, uh, let's drop some giants. getting my workout into it before the snow. So it's interesting too, <clears throat> these, this apple wood is so cool. And so like both of these trees, this is the apple wood and you can see it's got a super cool looking core. So I'm gonna save this guy. Hey, you know, as always, Eastern red cedar looks cool, but look at that, that's pretty cool looking. So I don't think I'm gonna mill that, but I have seen a guy carve out some bowls and stuff out of applewood so I may give that a shot when I have some free time so anyway got a few more trees to do over here like this little cluster I'm gonna do next and uh, yeah just make sure I can clean up whatever I cut down so all right I'll check back in with you guys in a minute look at this thing that I just pulled out of the ground boat prop what do these people do here, man? <laughs> I pulled the weirdest stuff out of this, out of this ground. It's, it's crazy. This is the weirdest thing, but got a pretty good uh, pile of stuff now. Still working on this little uh, skedaddle and I'll uh, keep going. All right, so we are pretty cleared out here. So I took down one, two, three, four, five or six trees. Mostly small ones. You know, we got new house over here. We got our house over here. Just trying to be careful. So like this one right here was next on my list. He's leaning just a little bit towards the house. So I'll just wait till Catherine's free and we can uh, take him down. I also have a dull chain and no more gas. So that's gonna do it for me today. Look at my hair. I'm gonna go take a shower maybe. <laughs> Can't wait for dinner. Anyway, thank you guys for watching this video and uh, I'll see you next time. All right, so actually before I go, so one of the <clears throat> benefits of having Senor Dump Trailer here is that I'm hoping to clean this up because like I said, we have a storm coming. It would be nice to have at least all this brush gone uh, so it doesn't get snowed on. Because I have a date of taking all the trees down I think by next weekend. That's the goal anyway. So I'd like to sort of try to achieve that. And so if I can clean all this up in the next 30 minutes or so, that'll really go a long way. So I'll see what I can do.
Okay, so truth time. I definitely did not <laughs> need to stack all of this in the dump trailer. But, uh, you know, this previously would have been like four trips in my tractor. And so did stacking all this in my dump trailer and ratchet tying it down save any time? No, probably not. That's not true. <laughs> Most likely it saved me a little bit of time because the, the tough thing is it's a long way to go down where I want to put it. And I inevitably would have been dropping stuff on the way. So now here's to hoping that I can uh, make it down there in one piece. All right, well, so that took some doing, but uh, we got our we got our stuff out in the woods. This is still a little bit tricky to navigate because I haven't like quite finished everything. And so it was tough to get it back here and in the right spot. So hopefully someday very soon I have this area, which is gonna be, you know, sort of my uh, dumping ground for scraps, which is sort of deep in the woods, as you can see. Hopefully someday soon, this will be nice and easy to use. Currently, it's a bit of a pain in the neck. I still have a lot of little trees. I wish I had the time to work on this for like a week straight. That would make a big difference. Anyway, now this is gonna be it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time.